Welcome to Final Cut Pro 10 in under five minutes. This week, I'm super excited to show you two free plugins we've created for you, RT DSLR and RT Shutter, and I'm sure you'll find some great uses for them in your video projects. Here I have a video clip, and I want to create a little shutter effect. So I'm going to go to the frame I want to freeze on, right about there, I'm just skimming there, and I'll press Option F to create a freeze frame, and now if I skim through, we freeze there. Then what I'm going to do is go to the Title Inspector, to the Custom category, and add the Ripple DSLR title effect. I'll trim it back a little bit. And one option is just to play it right away because by default, it animates the focus. And the focus indicators blink to indicate we're in focus before it takes a picture. So you can leave it like that, but if you go to the inspector, there are many parameters that you can turn on or off here. You can choose to auto animate it like we did or turn that off and create keyframes to blur the amount exactly the way you want. We can choose to pan and zoom the image itself and animate those. I'm not going to do that. I can turn this grid off here and maybe I'll turn off these zones too so we don't see all of these elements on the screen. You can choose the color of these zones. You can turn on or off individual focus marks. You can adjust the opacity of those marks, the color, the color of the data below. And all of these data points down below are editable. You can see you can double click and add perhaps 1 25th of a second. And maybe we'll do F 4.0. You could hide the data if you wanted to. And you can turn on and off specific data points down in the display here, including adjusting exposure. And you can animate all these with keyframes. And you can even adjust the battery level. Down below, there's an option for night vision with a bunch of different presets to create a night vision effect. Okay, once we've got that the way we like it, what I'm gonna do is go to the Transitions browser to the custom category and add the ripple shutter transition. I'll then trim the title back to end where that shutter begins. And then I'll add a camera shutter sound effect. This one came from the iLife sound effects library, but they're easy to find with a simple Google search. And if we play that through now, we have a nice DSLR and focusing and shutter effect with a, with a sound effect. If I select the transition, we also have the option of adjusting the shutter contrast to create a lighter shutter or a darker shutter or completely black it out. So hopefully that explains how to use the Ripple DSLR and Ripple shutter effects. Uh, they're free. They are part of the larger package of plugins called Ripple Optics. Ripple Optics provide binoculars, viewfinders, and scopes that are all highly configurable and they're currently on sale for a very attractive price, so check it out at the link below.